Indian history has witnessed many black days. But the darkest of all was the 16th December 2012, when an innocent girl, a physiotherapy student, whom we all know as Nirbhaya today, met with her worst fate, when she was violently and brutally raped and beaten by six sick men, which left entire nation aghast. Everyone knows what followed. Girls relentless fight for her life, publics relentless fight for justice, and amidst all this, governments, police, and administration's coldness and finger pointing, along with highly disgraceful statements and remarks by many prominent public figures, further ensued a huge cry and debate over revealing the true identity of Nirbhaya. But the fact is that we all already knew who Nirbhaya was, didn't we? Or rather, I should ask, don't we? Yes, we do. Certainly, Nirbhaya is who is killed right after her birth and buried under no man's lands spread across the country. She is also the one born in our families. So unfortunate that no one is happy enough on her birth to inform the relatives of her arrival on this earth. People like me are left bewildered whether we should congratulate the parents or not. God knows how they would perceive it. Nirbhaya is also that girl. whose parents are immensely proud of declaring that they don't see any difference between girl and boy and claim that they have brought up their girl just like a boy now isn't it qualified as discrimination have you heard of any parent saying that they have brought up their boy as a girl why can't a girl be simply brought up just like a girl nirbhaya is that girl whose educational requirements are never a priority to her family after all she is only meant to cook clean and do everything else to keep her husband pleased nirbhaya is the same girl whom we yes we tease on bus stops metro stations colleges shopping complexes restaurants public transports and other public places or any other place where we wish to however we conveniently choose to believe that no one would do the same with our own sister in some other part of the city nirbhaya is that girl who is not allowed to choose a life partner of her choice well according to the parents and relatives she is mature and intelligent enough to get married manage course make babies but only not wise enough to choose a life partner how dared she nirbhaya is those wives whose husband can shout on her scold her smack her or mock at her any time anywhere and in front of anyone after all How dared she put extra pinch of salt in that curry that she is making since last ten years perfectly? Decide what's good for her own children, or present her opinion in important family matters where husband has supremacy over decision-making power. She is just supposed to follow the footsteps, isn't she? She is Nirbhaya, who can only sob in her unlighted corner where degree of solace is zero. When her husband and in-laws insult her parents for not bringing enough dowry, and finally. surrender herself to holy fire quietly on her man's and his family's wish the same fire that witnessed her heavenly association with that same man and don't forget that nirbhaya whose husband is free to get into extramarital relationship with any other woman on the earth but the moment she steps out of her maryada she is tagged as a whore oh and the nirbhaya the old mother who expects the same love and respect from her son that she bestowed upon him whole of her life but then not all expectations are met in life that is so cruel shouldn't she be satisfied with the square meals that she gets at her son's home or that monthly visit that her son pays to that old age home after all he is a better son than all those who just leave their widow mothers on the streets of vrindavan on the false pretense of taking them to pilgrimage finally nirbhaya is every woman and girl whose private movements are proudly put on exhibition by so called brothers lovers and husbands on internet forums and websites now be true to yourself for just one moment and i'm sure that you would confess that you have been surrounded by nirbhayas around you since you were a child and one thing i must tell that it all happens in the so called educated cultured and civilized class of the society remember the doctor mother who was shown at amir khan satyamev jayate who left her doctor husband's home as he wanted to kill her daughters that doctor must have been taught that it's the male who is responsible for the birth of a male or female child indian constitution defines rape very restrictively 
it doesn't include psychological rape which every woman of this indian society goes through daily and unfortunately no law can be made to stop such continuous psychological exploitation the rage that the youth had shown in nirbhaya's case will be effective only when it will be taken to their hearts and homes and changes will be made to the roots we the males must learn to respect females as a community and not only as mother or sister i could have made this video right in the middle of the heat of nirbhaya's case but i waited because what i am urging you all to think about and do can be achieved only with a calm mind and not with an enraged one an enraged mind only causes more violence and trouble than bring any real change and i am not only preaching i have also implemented this at my own home now no one and i mean no one can dare to shout scold or mock at any female in my family at least in my presence and i consider it a good start though the desire end is still too far just remember one thing the moment you will put false male ego aside and start thinking rationally you will understand the difference between right and wrong and will also understand that a rebel even though it's against your own father's wrong doings will always bring honor to the family values all i am asking you to do is at least start thinking today action will follow soon and results won't be too far as well thank you